Playing games is lots of fun. If you watch our show, you can have fun too. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Monkey Bone. Did you say Monkey Bone? Yeah, that was a f movie. Oh, didn't Monkeys. that have uh, Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser's best movie. Is it his best movie? Uh, do you know? I guess you'd say The Mummy is, but uh, Monkey Bone is terrible. That's a shame. Yeah, Monkey Bone's oh, a terrible look, movie. It's but... all our monkeys. I guess those are the spots, so we need... I think, um... We're two... No, three no. monkeys shy. What? We're missing three monkeys? Okay. okay. I, I like how Midna is, like, committed to rescuing the rest of the monkeys. I'm not. Let's just go across and kill a uh, boss. Okay, that's the boss key there. I think you need, like, all the monkeys to cross this particular part okay. of it. alright. Okay. Oh, wait. Why the hell did I do that? I don't know. It's like you're retarded or something. Uh, what are you, stupid? Now we have to do it again, ugh. Yeah, that took... I wasted at least three seconds of this playthrough. Uh, okay, now let's... Fuck this guy's shit up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got beaten by that dude. I know. They look like grandmas. That, I was about to say that as well. <laughs> they look like mutant purple grandmas. Oh, actually, I think there are bugs up there. I'm gonna have to. Clear yeah, Link, out Link first. is looking up there. Oh come on! I hit that. It's like, do you know in uh, children's say like, plays where you stab them and they put it on their arm and then they take a few seconds before they start acting dead? That's what it's like. That's the weirdest. The weirdest explanation for something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's what do you expect? We killing just... these spiders is a lot like a children's play. Killing these spiders is a lot like killing children. Right. I know Skyward Sword, it, like, uses stamina when you have to climb on trees and stuff. So you can't just, like, do it indefinitely. You have to, like, race against the clock. That's really annoying. I have not played Skyward Sword more than a couple of hours. It's one of those games where... Like, the motion control, if you get, like, it seems to depend on which TV you're using. Like, sometimes it's really accurate and really easy to do, and other times it's just unworkable, so. Oh, is it? Like, I remember the first time I played it, I was at my other house, um, with another TV, and it was, like, really hard. Is it the TV or your position? I think it's both. Like, maybe the size and position of where your TV is and where you are in relation to it. But, like, when I moved to this house and we got a different TV... Um, I played it again, and like the motion controls worked, and it was like really enjoyable. So yeah, everyone, I think it's really split down the middle whether people liked that game or hated that game, and I think it's mostly to do comes down to whether the controls work, work for them. Um, All right, so kill that dude. It is kind of freaky that like. You cut off its head and the head kind of Just comes after you. Out, yeah. Yeah. So we gotta kill it. Uh, so we no, need to throw a bomb into that dude. Yeah. But there are no bombs. Uh, there should be somewhere. It has to be. It's the entire. There oh, it is, right there. Oh, wait, I remember. So you have to throw the I think you can um, Collect pick him. up. Pick up bombs like that, which I probably should have stood closer to where I wanted to. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, that was. That was really embarrassing. Yeah, alright, well, I should stand closer to where I actually want to throw the bomb this time. I like when you pick stuff up, you can see the. Your item gets, like, trapped in the vortex and spins around. It's a cool effect. Like, I know in Skyward Sword. Uh, there's this robot pirate enemy, and it's the most annoying thing ever. It's one of those things where if the motion control doesn't work properly for you, it, like, knocks you off this bridge. So, like, it's it's the most hated enemy in the game. And for some reason, at Zing Pop Culture, like, the only piece of Skyward Sword merchandise is, like, a statue of that guy. Of who? Of the, like, robot pirate guy that, like, everyone uh hates. Because it's one where, like, you have to slash at the right angle. And if you accidentally kind of move your... Um... So you got to throw a bomb up there as well? Oh yeah, I think you do. Yeah, if you accidentally kind of move your Wii Remote slightly the wrong way... Right. Like you... It kills you and you kind of fail. 
Yeah, but for some reason he's the only the only merchant. Star Wars, Sky Wars Third merchant I've ever actually seen for sale. Oh, you can actually. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can get the bomb to uh, the boomerang to like lob bombs at me at stuff for me. I think I can get the boomerang to lob bombs at me if I wanted to, but you could do, I guess, but that'd be pretty stupid. Oh, I reckon those guys. I are... think this. Oh, okay. But he he'll probably come at you. All right. Get him. So we need another bomb for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, should be too hard. Grandma. They're pretty useless, those guys. Grandmas? Yeah. They're kind of useless, yeah. Oh, come on. Alright, now I need to get good clear shot so I think if you just bring it up to you or I guess if you just I could bring it up to me or I could try and be special and do it this way which will look really cool if it works oh no so or really retarded right if I fail so yeah I'm gonna have just to pick it up I guess I have to do it the hard way I have to like run three feet yeah Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh, there's a monkey in there. How did you get in there in the first place? They put a rock in front of it. Did they actually put a monkey in a like small alcove and then? Yeah, well, the grandma was guarding it, so it makes well, I sense guess to me. But like, did they actually like brick it up? Like a, a laborer had to come in and like slowly like. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what happened. They brought in a contractor to <laughs> trap a monkey. Okay, so. I'm looking at my little mini map to see where the last monkeys are. The subway monkey hour. Tom Green, subway monkey hour. Can I jump down there, I reckon? Don't do it. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, uh, okay. So how many more monkeys are there? Uh, two. Does it tell you where they are on the Yeah, right? it does. Okay. I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite on top of where my monkeys are. You can smell a monkey. You can smell them a mile away. Monkey. So. Cool, there we go. We're at the tail end of the dungeon. So I think there's just one monkey on either side of here. Uh, I'll look. Alright, let's go for those monkeys. I'll leave it up to you which way we go. Go forward. <laughs> Whoa! They're gonna charge at you. Oh. That seemed like it was gonna be a lot more... <laughs> a, a lot more epic encounter yeah. than it turned out to be. A scripted event instead. It just came up and kind of smacked <laughs> well, you yeah, like normal. One guy came up and sort of stood behind me. The other guy ran two feet forward and just stopped and didn't and then just waited for me to like run up and smack him in the face with it. Do we need to use these bugs to catapult or? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're just there to be sneaky. They look really juicy these bugs. Like did they like did they stick things to their heads or is that just what they look like naturally? They stuck they they knew that someone <laughs> might be you know Wanting to step on it and go hiding underneath it. Yeah, but is that what they look like naturally, or did they? No, go... they didn't evolve to have ornate blocks in the head. They might have. No, no, that'd be stupid. Like, cause they all did it. Like, did one person just go, "Hey, I stuck a yes, a, an old ornate uh -huh, block to my head," uh -huh, and they uh -huh. went, "That's a good idea." They did. We're gonna do that. We're all gonna do that. That was like the fashion trend going on at that point in time within, with those worms. Within, within worm, worm society. society. <laughs> it's like that brief week when those like stupid hats that E17 used to wear were like the big thing. Remember? E17. E17. East 17. I have no idea what that Do is. Remember? Alright, alright, everything's gonna be alright? No. Oh. Well, that's cool, it's got like a skull on its back. I guess my finishing blow didn't quite finish. Yeah, E17 were uh, like a boy group in the very early 90s that had this one song that was like insanely popular for a very short amount of time. 
No, that rings no bells. At and all. one of them wore this like really strange beanie that kind of looked like kind of looked like he had right, a beanie. I'm gonna have but, to Google this. Yeah, but they were hiding like a bottle underneath, so it was. And then for like one week in the early nineties, it was like the most fashionable thing to do, to walk around with those beanies. But then, within a week, everyone realized it was stupid, and no one ever did it again. E seventeen. East. East. Like so. the direction. Uh, while Alex looks that up. Anyway, we're going to call it a day, so we'll see you tomorrow.